the University of Manchester, the birthplace of chemical engineering. But how do you succeed at a University of Manchester ChemEng interview? Make sure you watch until the end to find out. Hey there, welcome to ChemEng Weekly. Before we go directly into the video, I would recommend you watch two of the videos I've put up earlier about general interview tips, one of them being the technical interview questions for undergraduate applications, and also the general interview preparation advice, which will help you with regards to this interview. The links for both of those can now be found in the iCloud section, as well as in the description below. So without further ado, let's go right in. The general format. Now, the general format of a Manchester University interview for chemical engineering is much more informal compared to other university interviews, being much more conversational. The successful offer holders that I contacted with regards to this said that they found the University of Manchester interviews one of their best interviews that they conducted, being very welcoming and quite relaxing in terms of interviews as it goes, as well as having lovely interviewers. And candidates should be reassured of having a good interview at University of Manchester. The format of it generally starts with your personal statement, as well as the five questions that I included within the general preparation interview advice video within this section. It then generally tends to progress by asking a mathematics-based question, a chemistry-based question, and sometimes a physics-based question, or if not, more of a conversation towards the end. And this will usually always be the same, regardless of whether your interview is online or in person. They also tend to only give out one interview per person usually, and although some of the offer holders I contacted said they did have two interviews, it was quite rare. With regards to the general question of why Manchester, there's an entire video that the University of Manchester has put out for chemical engineering applicants. I would strongly recommend you watch that through. And once again, I've put that in the iCod as well as the description sections, so you should definitely check that out. The discussion section. Within the discussion section is generally a conversation about your personal statement, as well as asking questions about what you've done and what merit you gained from it. Interviewees reported that this was generally a building point from which other conversations were started, and it's not unknown for them to include the latest news updates or things that have happened in the past, such as COP26, the COVID-19 vaccine distribution and more. For this reason, it's quite good to know about what is going on in the world of chemical engineering. And one thing you can use as a resource to prepare for this is the ChemEng Weekly Month in Reviews, which I have a playlist for that I've also included in the I section here. But refocusing on this question, they do like to pick up on little points you make in your conversation and build further conversations from it. Because once again, as it's been reported, it is mostly an informal conversation between a professor and yourself. You also have plenty of time to ask questions at the end if you would like to. So that's another opportunity that you could take. And finally, the technical questions. So within the technical section, the University of Manchester generally has a chemistry and maths question, given how this is what they recommend applicants to take. But they may even ask you a physics question, such as something that is derived out of mathematics mechanics. For this reason, it's important that you know your knowledge up to a year 12 stroke ALS level stroke international equivalent level for this interview, because this is generally what they will tend to ask you and may sometimes delve into A-level subjects, although this is rarer. They do tend to like asking questions about your knowledge of chemistry and its basic concepts, such as how a spectrometer works. So it's important that you revise those topics within the AS level spec. Another important thing to revise is graph sketching because this, once again, is a staple of the chemical engineering interview at Manchester. And this has sometimes been known to extend into physics stroke mechanics, AS level, which is to do with the drawing of a graph as a ball is dropped down a mountain or something. But nonetheless, within the technical interview section, it is advised that you try to show exactly what you're thinking and how to work things out, even though you don't think you have the correct answer, because the interviewer will jump in and help you out. And with that comes the end of the video. There is a number of things that you can do to research and practice for your Manchester University interview for chemical engineering, such as using the A-level maths revision website, as I stated, as well as practicing your AS level chemistry and maybe even a bit of physics, although they tend to ask less questions about physics. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have an interview, I wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, and if you click here or here, you can watch another one of our videos. Click up here to subscribe, and thank you very much.